Hello, this is Liquid Ocelot and I'm back after a very long time. Uh, thing is that uh, today I'm the video that I'm making is uh, a reaction video to um, my reaction to wait my reaction is to the video named Fortnite 64 bit Android emulator test now this guy uh, I have to give credit to him his channel is Android emulation he posted this video first even though uh, kill orbit was the first one but he Kill Orbit did the same method but he somehow failed to run the user interface. What's so special about this particular video that I'm going to talk about is that it actually runs the user interface of Fortnite Mobile on a PC emulator. Not only he bypasses the device not supported issue but he also uh, bypasses the uh, the uh, and runs actually runs the Fortnite user interface now uh, as this is transformative content and I am talking uh, so uh, it comes under fair use I'll start the video and you see he has already downloaded uh, Fortnite uh, full game and uh, it's loading it's loading and now you'll see you'll see see it's it's working so uh, you can see the user interface he brings up the user interface and he will show you uh, he, that he is logging in as well so he logs in and shows the user interface running on uh, Fortnite mobile on emulator the same Android emulator time time 64 bit emulator which uh, both kill orbit and I also made a video about it as well so this is uh, this is the proof I'll just run it a bit once again to show you guys once again and the method that he explains in the video is the same one so shout out to him shout out to Android emulation uh, channel it's a very small YouTube channel and you can see if you look at uh, the comment section and click top comments you can see my comment two months ago is the first one and I'm asking him uh, the same question which everybody's asking me is that at 410 let me go to the 410 area here uh, I'm saying to him thank you so much for sharing but after testing I'm stuck at loading screen how do I resolve this issue it goes 25 percent then stops maybe I need to be patient that's all uh, so help uh, and he has responded to me that uh, he cannot help me he has um, uh, I had to wait a lot uh, he says and uh, he says uh, some stuff and uh, he hasn't given me a proper solution to be honest uh, now let's uh, let's go to uh, time time emulator once again once again time time emulator and this is what everybody is telling me everybody is talking about it uh, he, they are telling me this uh, that please resolve it I'm not going to update it you see I have 3.2.0 and I'm running the vanilla version the factory version no need to download anything new or something so I'm I'm running it and uh, I'll also uh, give uh, give you guys update on uh, my uh, settings my uh, Android settings because a lot of you guys are asking me this question as well even though this is not important uh, to me to be honest but still uh, I don't understand why a lot of you guys are still having problems in uh, regards to the bypassing a device not supported issue because I have made another video the OpenGL method uh, that I talked about and I have explained in the comment section over and over again but people are still uh, asking me this question over and over again and um, 
I don't understand but uh, still let's let's find out let's investigate so process system I'll just click OK and now I'm going to run Fortnite once again now uh, be clear in mind this is the latest version of Fortnite and um, I have already installed it I have already bypassed the device not supported issue so obviously uh, somehow when I click it yes this is this is normal stuff this error this graphics error this is just normal and initializing and uh, starting Fortnite, verifying and starting Fortnite. So let's see what happens. You see this is this is what a lot of people are saying and complaining about the same issue now it's going to go to a loading screen and it's going to take like a million years to load it even if it's loaded pro uh, appropriately uh, uh, it will go just just go down to the base Android version so I'm not going to waste time this is where everybody is stuck and this is why the reason the reason for making this reaction video is I'm asking this guy over here this guy um, Android emulation please my friend please show us the solution tell me in the comment section please I'm uh, willing to do a, a collaboration video with you I'm willing to do anything with you please uh, and uh, to my subscribers I'm going to tell them please visit his YouTube channel uh, it's a very good YouTube channel if you are interested in Android emulation uh, and he uh, he has uh, I'm going to give him credit also that he was the first one to uh, bypass the uh, device one of the first people kill orbit was the first one the second one uh, but he is the first one to uh, bring out the user interface of Fortnite and I don't know why isn't he uh, answering this basic question and my request to Android emulation is please help me help the community they are asking me question after question we are stuck at this loading screen and we need you to answer this question to us and to do that I am going to leave a link to the video this particular video which I have made the reaction video to in the uh, uh, description box visit him and ask him what have you done how have you brought in the user interface uh, this I hope this is crystal clear now we uh, what we do is uh, I have to uh, do some some digging now you guys see uh, show me the settings show me the settings uh, I don't understand why these are the uh, the settings Galaxy 7 Edge the Android settings and uh, uh, what what I'm going to show you is uh, these are the second settings my PC settings uh, 10 8 8 GB RAM oh, look at this 9999 and CPU cores I have written 8 these are the settings so please don't ask me this question again and wait a minute wait a minute I'm going to show you further proof you guys have been asking me these questions which are irrelevant but these are important to you guys so I will be answering these questions to you this emulator I will quit and I'm going to go to what what am I doing over here? I had to click the blue button. <sighs> System information so I give you all the data that you have requested me over and over again these are this is the data that is available 
uh, I have set uh, my laptop specification multiple times. I have showed you the Android settings page. This is my operating system, Windows 10. Um, I have a G75 VX laptop, 64-bit uh, 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 its interface, which is Windows 10. And I have uh, said that I have a 2.4 gigahertz I, uh, eight, uh, eight core uh, logical processors, i7 3630QM CPU, and I have uh, RAM. I'll show you my RAM is 24 GB. Look at it. So I hope this question is answered as well. In the end of the video, I will say a request to. I will make two requests actually. One is that um, <coughs> one request is to Android emulation. Please, please, my friend, uh, respond to me. Uh, respond back to me. And uh, another uh, res uh, request is to the, my subscribers. Go to his video. Go to his channel. Ask him. Ask him what is going on over here. Please fix uh, sh he should communicate with me either or you guys tell me how will we resolve this issue and uh, uh, there is one third request as well xda forums i'm going um, wait. self-promotion. I am not self-promoting my friend. I am just asking a question. Why is everybody telling me <laughs> but I am very thankful to XDA forums. They have uh, still kept this post open. And my third request is to the community, please, if you are watching this video, and if you have somewhat of a solution, I have posted this post in the best forums out there, XTA forums, developers forums, and I've asked this question, please contribute on this page, so I leave a link to this website in the description. If you have anything to add, if you have want to ask help even, just write it over here, okay? So please uh, let me guys know what you guys think and I have de delivered on my promise. I have showed you uh, the user interface and uh, thank you so much for watching. Let's hope and hope that this guy will uh, Android emulation will help us out in fixing this issue. I'll be signing off. Take care my friends.